Hey everybody, it's your girl, Miss Mel. How you doing? How you doing? Happy Martin Luther King's Day. I am getting ready to go to Macy Gray concert here in Sacramento. She's downtown 10, 10 minutes away. Got one ticket because I'm single, but I want to go and enjoy her again because I love her, love her, love her. Now, I want you to see the back of my shirt. I want you to see the back of my shirt. Can you see that? Self-love is the best love. Self-love is the best love. But, um... So, I know you guys have seen my postings and I've been ranting a little bit because I let the devil get a hold of me, but I've cleansed all of that out and I am good and I am whole again and positive. But I wanted to talk to you, I was thinking about something today, about something this, um, this deacon said to me in D.C. When I was in D.C., I told you about the couple who got together, broke up, broke up, she cut off all ties, he was kind of being narcissistic. And a year later, he got his act together and they got back together. So we were sitting and he was telling me about the, I'm going to call this one, undateable 51-49% rule in relationships. And the 51-49% rule, it, how he explained, explained it is, a lot of people think they need to be in a relationship and we need to be 50-50. I walk beside my man. I do all of this. We need to be 50-50. And for me... That's not me. That's not what I do. And he put it in terms that I could understand. This is something I've been doing all my life. He said, in my relationship, the woman has to understand the man is 51% of the relationship. Because he's the man. He's the one who pays all the bills, pays the mortgage, pays all the bills, um, uh, provides and protects. The woman is 49. He said, there's no 50-50. There's never 50-50. Men and women are not made to be 50-50. We can be 51-49. Or I know people where the lots of women, they never work. The man was hunted. You know, hunted. All the bills, everything, everything he said went because nobody's providing. Nobody's got anything. But the woman's working whatever. So as long as she can understand that I am 51, she is 49. That's the way it's going to be. Some women don't like that. I understand that. I agree with that. You need to be 51 because Negro, I've been single. I'm tired. I don't want to make all the decisions. I don't want to do that. That's, that's, I will leave that up to you. Or we can do that together. But you are 51 because you're the king and I'm the queen. The king who is 51 has to treat the queen like she 49. She, she, the queen. That's what the queen does. She 49%. She don't make all the rules, whatever. But the queen right behind the king, whispering in his ear, telling him what's right and wrong, doing all of that, blah, blah, blah. Cause she the 49%. Now those side pieces and stuff y'all got, they five, 10%. They ain't gonna never be nothing unless the queen ain't doing her job. And believe me, this queen does her job. Okay. And she understands that the man is the king. And he got the 51%. I got the 41. He's the president. I'm the vice president. Okay. That's how I go. All these little hoochies and all those one night stands and all of that. Hey, you all are peasants. You're peasants in the life. Okay. And know your place. So that's my thing. I am the 49 of any man's 51% because I want you to be the man. But guess what? I'm going to treat you like you the king. I'm going to always treat you like the king. You're going to be the king in my book, okay? You don't get everything you want, everything you need. And if there's a little more you need, we can work that out too. But I'm not going to be, never be that 5 or 10% for them jump offs and them side chicks, okay? So that's my whole thing about the 5149. If you agree, message me. If you don't agree, message me. But that's how Miss Mail works. Mwah. Have a great evening.